All right, guys. Well, they keep talking about it being a rainy day here in the end times. But so far, it is yet another spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top, beautiful September day in uh, the end times at Bugs in a Jar Farm. It is a Monday. It is Monday, September 9th. Uh, 2024, so, uh, you know, every day I like to do at least one project per day to rational, you know, I, I guess, what am I trying to do? A am I trying to rationalize my existence on the planet? So today's project is we have uh, transplanted five of these beautiful ferns uh, gone up and transplanted five beautiful ferns on the path to the outhouse so we have you know Grant and I already spent uh, pretty much an entire day uh, a few weeks ago putting in the single most overbuilt path to an outhouse on the planet. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 you know, I did not need this path to this outhouse. I do not need these uh, five ferns planted along the path. Uh, but anyway, it took me two hours. The ferns were free. They were from Mother Nature. The ferns were totally free, a gift from the planet, and two hours of my time. So I spent, and it was hard work. I mean, it, it was two hard hours, you know, for this old man uh, to do these, uh, come up here and dig these five big ass holes and go down and side of a mountain and dig up these ferns and carry them and then back up the hill and uh, this is the <laughs> this is the fire ring that Alistair and I made when did we do this in the summer of 21 or 22 and every one of these rocks came from up on that hillside we rolled, we went up there and dug out every one of these rocks and rolled them down the hillside to uh, build this beautiful fire ring up here at the Blue Dragon tiny house. Uh, so, uh, you know, guys, as I as I head into the last two weeks of uh, trying to convince myself and anybody else that I am still a middle-aged man, and 13 days I will officially be a decrepit old fart, and. Uh, <laughs> And as I as I've mentioned that 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 just more and more of my time on this planet now is just uh, you, you know as old men do sitting back looking over their lives and, and just coming to the conclusion the the past sixty five years have been completely pointless. Just it, it, it just every day the just, just the complete futility of it. So uh, I was uh, halfway through this job. I worked for one hour on these ferns, and then I went down to my garden and picked one of my good lord. Uh, I guess most seven tomato plants that I planted probably brought in 
somewhere between 200 and 300 pounds of tomatoes. So I literally enjoying the fruits of my labor. So I, I went down to pick one of my um, homegrown organic garden fresh tomatoes uh, that I have been working on all summer to have my BLT. And while I'm eating, so I go over there to Yahoo News and I find this long article about the American dream. About the American dream. And is the American dream dead? Or what does the new American dream uh, look like? Uh, is this the same American dream as it was a hundred years ago? And so it was this guy... Uh, this was based purely on him going all around the country, just just interviewing dozens and dozens and dozens of people from all different generations. And uh, one of his takeaways, I think he was kind of surprised, is that is that very few people consider the American dream dead that the American dream in uh, late 2024 apparently is alive and well, but the main recurring theme that he kept hearing over and over again, so this is kind of mostly what the article is talking about, is how home ownership, owning your own home and piece of land, uh is just you know that the younger you the people that he interviewed like like all the old farts my age you know nearly all the boomers and he actually found some statistics bearing this out that 88 percent of boomers 88 percent of boomers claiming owning your own home uh, to be, you know, like, like the most important ingredient of the American dream. And then when I think it's Gen Zers, I, I never know where these begin and end. So the boomers coming in at 88%, that the most important part of the American dream is owning your own home. That has now dropped to 68% of Gen Zers. And what this guy was talking about, this is, his, you know, he admits right up front that this is a non-scientific sampling, okay? This is just what he took away from interviewing all of these people uh, from all different generations uh, that not only has it dropped from 88% to 68% statistically, uh, but, but he found just more and more people, you know, whatever Gen Z is, what, what are they, under the age of 30, that more and more of them just really don't seem that concerned about it. They've just, uh, you know, part of it is, is that they've just given up on ever being able to buy their own home and piece of land. And he's going, maybe that's just, just part of it because it's become a joke that the dream of home ownership uh, has become a joke uh, over, you know, over Generation Z's lifetime, and it just hasn't been drilled into their head from cradle to grave. But uh, above and beyond that, just, and in, in, in he, uh, you know, he quotes a lot of these people who just don't seem to care that they're never going to own their own home and one of my best buddies a a doomer he is 67 years old 
He has never owned his own home. Uh, he, he has no clue why anybody would, would want to do that to him themselves. Uh, he is completely mystified by it. Another one of my best friends, well, she is 64 years old. Uh, she has never owned her own home. And I, I remember uh, being in a discussion with, with her one time about this. And she has two daughters. And, and one of the reasons... <laughs> One of the reasons she cited for not wanting to be a homeowner is she would not want to saddle her children with willing them a house. That uh, she, you know, th this is a woman my age uh, looking at it and considering it to be something bad to do for your children to uh, when you die to will them your house that in inheriting a house and this was in Austin Texas and and I think uh, I think the price of houses starts about five hundred thousand dollars now in Austin Texas and, and she honestly believed that why would I do this to my own kids uh, make them suffer by by owning their own home, and uh, I, I I I don't know. I, I guess you just get it or you don't. Uh, and you know, they were they they interviewed this one guy. He was in his thirties. Uh, you know, he he grew up. In, the, in, in a house that, uh, you know, that his boomer parents owned. And he decided after growing up and, and listening to them bitch and moan about mortgage payments and insurance and maintenance and yard work and, and, and all of that, uh, he goes, why the hell uh, would anybody want this? You know, people talking about how home ownership ties them down, that they're not free just to pick up and leave, uh, you know, when, when they got a mortgage due in two weeks. Uh, and I, I, I guess these are all valid reasons. You know, one of these young guys, I think he was a 27-year-old he was interviewing, was saying... You know, just going down the list, mainly about yard work was the first thing he mentioned. It was yard work uh, and, and, and these never-ending bullshit uh, home repairs and whatnot. And he just said, I would rather call the landlord. Uh, I, I would rather call the landlord... Uh, just, just keep the rent as reasonable as I can and take the money and run and, and have it available, you know, for travel and whatnot. Uh, so I don't know, guys, maybe, maybe, maybe I just have it wrong. Maybe your old Doomer real estate agent, uh, that part of the 88% of boomers who think that owning your own home is uh, the number one ingredient in what is left of the American dream. Uh, <laughs> just one of those, just one of those old and in the way crazy boomers, uh, boomer doomers, and uh, you know how any doomer, how any doomer could uh, not have owning. Uh, you, you know, some sort of real estate a, a, as their number one goal. Uh, uh, anybody of any age calling them a doomer and uh, acting like owning your own property uh, should not be your number one goal. And, and, and I can already hear 
uh, these clueless moron trolls going, Hey, man, you don't own your property. You don't pay your taxes and say, hey, man, shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you know, uh, I just, I just don't get it, but, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just one of these weirdos, I guess, who thinks, uh, I have a nicer property now that I have five ferns planted up against my tiny house. And, uh, I, I'm, I, I'm still irritated, uh, w w with all of this crap uh, that, that I hear. I, I mean, it, it's not entirely bullshit, I, okay? I admit that the, uh, the, the price of housing has gone through the goddamn roof. I can admit that on one hand, but, but then on the other hand, anybody who wants to come up here, uh, any day, I'm going to be here for two more months, anybody who wants to come up here, uh, I can take you around right now and, and show you a, a selection of homes uh, for well under a hundred thousand dollars up here in the Finger Lakes of New York. Uh, and then when you get into, uh, you, you, you know, land without a house on it, but where, you know, a piece of land, uh, even if it doesn't have a house on it now, uh, you're, you know, to grow a garden, to raise some chicken, you know, the whole thing about it, uh, that, that any doomer, uh, who, who doesn't own a piece of land, uh, just, it, 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 it just, it just absolutely floors me. The apples falling from the trees. Uh, all of this food just falling out of out of the sky. Here it bugs in a jar. Uh, I am I am so glad. Uh, well, I, I admit I'm, I'm I'm so glad I'm a boomer. It 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 would suck. Uh, depending on where you want to buy a house. Uh, right now, right now, 15 minutes from here, I know where there's this very cool cabin with a big barn on 16 acres of land for under $100,000. Right now, sitting there, uh, we can go look at it, come up here, and I will go show you, uh, where you can buy a house nicer than the, the, quote, house that comes on this land, a, a, a big barn and 16 acres of land. 15, I don't even think it's 15 minutes from here, uh, for under $100,000. Uh, I just saw uh, these, uh, somebody selling two single-wide trailers, uh, they want $25,000 for one of them, $20,000 for two of them. So I know where you can buy two single wide trailers. You can live in one, rent out the other, grow your garden, you know what not. For $45,000, you can buy two places. Now, are they going to be somewhere you want to live? I don't think so. I don't think you're going to want to live in a $20,000 trailer in Candor, New York. Uh, I, I have a, I'm going to take a wild guess. Uh, you would have no more interest uh, living in either one of those trailers than you would rolling around naked in a nest of fire ants. But uh, it, it, it's called, uh, you know, starting out somewhere. 
you know, it was uh, buying this fifteen thousand uh, dollar, literally uh, crashed in shack uh, in a swamp at the end of a rutted out dirt road in Florida that that I bought for fifteen thousand uh, dollars in nineteen ninety seven. It is the reason I own Bugs in a Jar Farm today. Uh, I've taken that $15,000. Good God, how many pieces of property have I parlayed that into? But, but, but it's taken some goddamn work. And, uh, you know, what, what, what do people think? Uh, that they're going to pay $15,000? Uh, for some tumble down shack and, and and just move in and put in the damn uh, big screen TV and, and lay their fat ass down on the couch and uh, click on Netflix. Uh, God. But anywho's. I'm going to be one of these boomer doomers who will uh, agree. One of the rare times I agree with the majority of my boomer friends, the number one and probably the only thing left in the American dream at this point is to... Uh, buy a piece of real estate, anything, anything you can afford uh, to start out with. Uh, and that is your all Doomer real estate investors advice. Anyway, well, I guess the uh, the beautiful day has finally moved on. And I better uh, pack up my tools and get back to my garage before the rains return. Get out there and enjoy... Uh, Dreaming the American dream while you still can or not. Bye, guys.